It's a great day for hockey cards, and today we're going to take a look. Oh, hard to even fit that in frame. 2020, 2021, Upper Deck MVP. Collect the first rookie cards of the season. But before we break into that, this will probably be the last video up before the contest ends. It ends on August 30th. Check out the details in the description below on how you could win this box of Upper Deck Ice or one of two lots of cards. We're going to have three winners total. So check out the details in the description. Follow them. Win. The winner will probably be announced next week at some point. Uh, because of my work schedule, I'm pre-recording a couple videos, so it may not be till later in the week. So just keep, keep an eye on the videos and uh, we'll be announcing the winner. So let's dive into 2020-2021 Upper Deck MVP. So, it's kind of weird to be opening this while this, while technically the 1920 season is still going on. This is usually the product in the last few years that has kicked off the new releases for Upper Deck. Now, there will still be some 1920 releases that are going to come out after this guy. Um, but this usually starts off the season. So, we're going to get 8 cards per pack, 20 packs per box... We've got Hobby Exclusive, Base Set Black, Superscript Parallels, numbered just five. So in addition to that, we're looking for the new inserts, including High Speed and Mirror Mirror. As always, it says, collect the first rookie cards of the season. The rookie card crop, usually in these, they're what they call holdover rookies. So they're people that made their debuts either in the playoffs or late last season. I doubt it will be the playoffs in this circumstance, just due to the timing. Um, they don't tend to be the, the highest quality rookies, but uh, we'll see. There's also a redemption you can pull in here for rookies for the 2021 season after they've played some games, but that, that's a that's a pretty tough pull. I think that redemption somewhere around 1 in 300 packs or something like that. Doesn't mean we won't get it, but means we're unlikely to get it. So, one thing first about the box, the red and the blue. I don't get it. It looks a little weird with the blue of Austin Matthews and then the red. I don't know. Not really keen on that color scheme. Maybe that's just me. Set our box up here. Push Mr. Matthews into the back. And... Here's a little booklet. They did this last year, too, about the different rookies that you can pull, and usually a little write-up about them. Collect the best rookies starting with 2021 MVP, OPG, and Artifacts. And, oh, it basically explains what a carryover rookie is. Uh, and then goes through a little bit of a write-up about each one, which is cool because uh, if you're a new collector, or even someone like me, I haven't heard of some of these guys some of them I have, some of them I haven't. But you can get a little write-up on some of them. Oh, and it actually previews what Artifacts is going to look like this year, and Opeachy as well. So, try to sneak that in there, Upper Deck, didn't you? So let's get right into it. I actually kind of like MVP. A lot of people are like, nah, it's cheap, it's whatever. It's kind of nice. It's a, it's a... It's a simple set, it's inexpensive, it's good for just about anybody who wants to collect, unless you're really seeking out, like, jerseys or autos. Like, there, there's probably something in here for you. So we're going to start with Cal Connor. There's the front and there's the back. Very similar to last year's MVP design. It's not offensive, don't hate it. Uh, the MVP probably could be a little bit darker there, kind of blends into the, the white, but not bad. Carter Hart. Keith Yandel, Drew Doughty, and this will be a puzzle back. So these, ooh, these when you put together, <laughs> very, very cranky guy looks like. Uh, when you put these together, there's nine cards and they'll complete a puzzle. I have no idea who this might be based on that. Got a little shoulder patch, maybe that's a saber. Kind of makes me think it might be a blue jacket too. Who knows? Drew Doughty. And then our next pool was out of 25 a superscript of Clayton Keller I like the uh, rainbow foil on there 
really nice. It's a nice way to start off the box. I was really pulling for the for the Coyotes this year. I would have loved to see them go far in the playoffs. Rocco Grimaldi, Jacob Truba, and John Carlson. Alas, it didn't happen. They ran into uh, Colorado. Although Colorado is now facing their own challenge against Dallas, who's a pretty solid team. I think they are they were underrated going in into the playoffs this year. Got Jesper Bratt, Nate Schmidt, Mark Stone, and we've got our first look at our net crashers inserts. We've got Johnny Goudreau. I actually really like that with the, it's almost like a star field effect there. Really cool. There's the back of it. A little bit of a right up there. He's number five. And then our next one is another puzzle back of P.K. Subban. Kyle Connor, maybe? I think he's the assistant. Who knows? I don't know. Probably Winnipeg fan out there knows who that is. Kyler Yamamoto, Eric Stahl, and Brandon Saad. Got Jake Muzzin, Chris Letang, Alex Petrangelo, and so these, something I really like I saw in the previews they did this year. So the short printed cards, so the high series and the rookies, they changed the coloring on the cards. So you can actually tell they're short print or high series by looking at them. So we've got Alexander True. Nice thing about MVP, if you're not sure how to pronounce the player's name, it's always on the back there. So Alex and True. So I was right. Took a, took a stab at it and I got it right. Alexander True for the Sharks. And then we have our first look at a high speed. It's Travis Konechny of the Flyers. Guessing these are fast skaters. Or elite skaters, as they put it there. Jeff Petrie, Cam Atkinson, and Bo Horvat. I think Bo Horvat in these playoffs has really opened a lot of people's eyes as to how good a player he actually is. Because if you weren't generally a Vancouver fan, I bet you he was underappreciated. Oscar Clefbaum, Jonathan Marchessault, Kevin LeBanc, Timothy Logren for the Maple Leafs. And it's actually Liljegren. Got a neck crasher of Taylor Hall. Looks like that's going to be one of the few cards he's going to have in his Coyotes uniform because it doesn't seem like he's going to re-sign with them. Anthony Duclair. Tory Krug. Uh, Vander Kane. Sean Couturier. David Riddich. And we've got an MVP, Colors and Contours, to 250 of John Tavares. Those are really neat looking. Those are textured, so there's like embossing you can feel on the card. And they're die cut. I didn't even notice that. I really like the orange. Christian Dvorak, Silver Script. So those are maintaining the same look they have for the last few years. They got rid of the foil on those. Victor Olofsson. J.T. Miller, and Danny dekaiser Soze. So MVP is always a fun rip. You get a lot of packs. You get a lot of different inserts. Brandon Sutter. Brendan Gallagher. Duke Rask. We've got Jason Robertson for the stars. Not really hard to pronounce, but there it is. <laughs> Rasmus Dahlin, Oliver Bjorkstrand, Nico Heischer, and Vlad Tarasenko, who apparently I saw the other days going to have more shoulder surgery. So it looks like, he, depending on when the next season may start, he may miss the start of that as well. And those chronic injuries, you got to wonder if he'll, if he'll ever be the same. Tristan Jari, Drew Doughty, Dougie Hamilton. We've got Philip Deneau, Silver Script. And we've got a mirror, mirror of Johnny Goudreau. I'm not sure where mirror, mirror comes from. The right up there really doesn't have anything to do with mirrors, but okay. 
P.K. Subban, Darnell Nurse, and O.V. These packs are actually a little bit difficult to open. Mike Smith, Sebastian Ajo, Brock Nelson, Anders Lee, or Anders Lee. I think it's Anders Lee, actually, is the connect. Anders Lee, Anders Lee. See, I can correct myself on all my, my terrible pronunciations. There's Claude Giroux, so he's a short print because he's got the green border. Mark Giordano, James Van Riemsdyk, and Jimmy the Greek Howard. Miko Rantanen, Victor Hedman, Nick Felino. Oh, we got one of the hobby exclusive. I think this is the base set black superscript parallel. Yeah, numbered four out of five. So that is a really awesome looking card. As I record this, Grubauer is currently out with the Avalanche. But he's played real well since uh since going there from uh from Washington. That is a really cool card out of five. Super low number. Hobby exclusive. Jonathan Duran, silver script. <laughs> that signature. Circle, circle. Big circle, little circles. Nicholas Backstrom, Pierre Luc Dubois, and Sergei Bobrovsky. And we've got Alexander Barkov. Jacob Silverberg, Rustash, Jonas Corposalo, and we've got a silver script of Anthony Mantha. And there's Andrei Svechnikov, Alexander Ovechkin, and Corey Crawford. One thing with MVP is you will end up with a giant stack of cards that you're going to have to decide what to do with. <laughs> So I usually stack them just out of the camera down here, and they're getting a little high. Probably going to knock them over. Brent Burns, Devin Dubnik, Hampus Lindholm, Natty Max Silver Script. He's having a tremendous playoff. And we've got a Jake Evans rookie for the Habs. Cam Fowler, Dylan Larkin, and Andre Vasilevsky. Nikita Kucherov, Gabe Landeskog, Kasperi Kapanen. Uh, as a Pens fan, he's a, he's a new addition for us. My thoughts on the Kapanen trade? I like it. Patrick Laine, Alexander Yellison for Calgary. Yellison, yep. Brian Little, Ben Bishop, and Frederick Anderson. Yeah, it's, people were saying that uh, the Leafs totally hose the Pens on that one. Maybe in the long run they will. They did get a first rounder, but it is the 15th overall pick. But uh, hopefully the Penguins for the last few years of Crosby and Malkin's careers found somebody that can ride shotgun with one of those guys in the top six because if you're a Pittsburgh fan, you're used to the rotating wingers, especially right wingers between Crosby and Malkin, and hopefully he can stick up there. Alexander Steen, Dustin Brown, Josh Bailey, and Andre Chibisov. For Winnipeg. And this is the 20th anniversary cards. Uh, there are different stars on these. This is a three star, obviously. Dylan Larkin. I think the one and two stars are numbered. Jeff Carter, Feel the Thrill, and JG Pajot. We've got John Klingberg, Josh Morrissey, Philip Grubauer. Felt kind of sticky there. And we've got Yanni Hakanpa. So this is where these come in handy. It's Yanni Hakanpa. Hakanpa. Yeah, got it. Patrice Bergeron, Christian Dvorak, Anthony Mantha, and Jonathan Durant. 
Yeah, a lot of the rookies that are the carryover rookies have only played a handful of games, so if you look at those guys, a lot of them don't have a very high games played number. Brady Shea, Andreas Janssen, Jordan Bennington, and we've got a puzzle back of Tristan Jari. Urkov. Who's Urkov? Zach Wierenski, Clayton Keller, Capo Caco, second year card for him, and Roman Yossi. So I'm interested to see if Capo Caco's stock goes up a little bit, seeing as how the um, Rangers will probably be drafting Lafreniere, Ricard Raquel, Alec Martinez, Shea Weber, Braden Shen. We've got a puzzle back for Darnell Nurse. Uh, 91 for the Leafs. 91 for the Leafs. No idea. <laughs> Jason Zucker, Zach Kazian, and Nazim Kadri. Just a few packs left. Getting near the bottom of this one. Philip Zanina, Mark Scheifele, Jacob Voracek, and we've got a Lee Andre Seidel, which is a shirt print. And another anniversary of Chris Kreider. It's a three-star, so that one won't be numbered. Tyler Sagan, Zach Parise, and Darcy Kemper. Jacob Markstrom, Eric Gustafson, Jake Gensel, Jason Robertson, Silver Script. And we've got an MVP prospects. Huh. I remember seeing the preview on this one of Tyler Benson. So this is like the 20... This is the 20th anniversary, but... I guess that was the rookie cards. What they look like. They didn't say rookie. They said MVP prospects. So he's also a third star. Charlie McAvoy, Travis Zajac, and Alex Dabrinkit. Down to the final two packs here. Marcus Johansson, Philip Forsberg, Pekka Rinne, Dougie Hamilton, puzzle back. Ovechkin, maybe. Somebody in red. We've got three star Andreas Athanasiu in his Oilers gear. Morgan Riley. David Pasternak, and David Perron. My friend texted me the other day. He's like, why is it that David Perron only plays good with the Blues? <laughs> it certainly seems that way. Elias Lindholm, Ryan Suter, Craig Anderson, and we've got a short print of Jonathan Taves, and Mir Heiskanen, Anthony Beauvillier, Shea Theodore and Connor Hellebuck to wrap it up. So there you have it. That is 2020, 2021 Upper Deck MVP. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you like the channel, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to enter the contest. Uh, the 30th is the deadline to enter that contest. So if you want to get in, now's your last chance. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.